Hi everybody, this is Tuan, your Real World Pew Pew. So today, um, we are going to do a lobster bake, um, or steam, or boil, mainly a steam. So, Aunt Cheryl is in town, and she has her friends from California buying 40 lobsters. Unfortunately, one of them didn't make it, so there's only 39 lobsters. So, I'm going to show you what 39 lobsters in seaweed looks like in this tote here I have. And we're going to steam them up today so she can transport them all the way back to California. So unfortunately, the plan that we had to go back to California is not going to work. Because granted, yes, lobsters can live up to a month outside of water. But unfortunately, because of the temperature change and the harsh environment that she's, the harsh environment that she's going through, going across country for four, four to five days, they won't make it. So everybody that's in California... You get to see your lobsters, but unfortunately, you're not going to be able to enjoy them fresh, out of the pot, and so on and so forth. But let's see what we got here today. This morning, we have our cooker from the kitchen. We have two pots. This tote here, I'm going to open it up, has ocean water. And yes, there's a starfish right there. So that starfish will be coming out eventually, but this is all ocean water. You can see the seaweed right there. And that, that right there is what's going to be cooked with the lobsters. Here in Maine, everybody uses ocean water to steam their lobsters. So let's take a look at the lobsters. Here we go. So in this tote, you got the seaweed. Oh, lots and lots of seaweed. Let's move some of this back. And there they are. So, as of right now, they are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, they all have the sh shredder bands on them. That's what these are called, is a shredder band, so they can stay nice and light banded. Um, that one's got a broken claw. No big deal. It happens. But these are all pound, pound and a half lobsters. Um, oop. This one's a soft shell, so you got to be careful because, yeah, the soft shell um, lobsters are the best. They have the, the they have a little bit less meat, but they're more succulent and sweet. Now, for all of you out there, to tell if it's a male or female, this swimmer ret right here, these two, this little notch, or sorry, hold on, these little things, they're their first front, front swimmerettes. If they're hard, it's a male. If they're soft, it's female. Plus the, the tail itself, you can tell it'll be wider than a male. Hold on, see if I can find a male. So this one's slightly smaller, <clears throat> but these are hard. And so this is a male. <clears throat> so, but yeah, there you go. So the cool thing about Maine is if you find a female in Maine, what they'll do is they'll uh, they'll check to see if she has eggs underneath. If she does have eggs, they will notch the tail. It'll have a notch cut out of the tail, and they'll throw them back. So that keeps the, the fisheries alive. So, but generally, if you find a female in here that does not have eggs... If there's a female in here that does not have eggs, it's fine to keep. But generally, as, as soon as they see a female that has eggs, they notch it and they throw it back. In Maine, lobsters are a pound and a half to two and a half pounds legally. They might have some oversized ones, but very, very seldom. Now, if you have, if you see anywhere around the world um, claiming to have five pound, six pound Maine lobsters, it's full of shit. They're lying. So in Maine, they're one pound, two pounds, two and a half pounds, Maine lobsters. Anywhere else around the world that try to claim it as Maine lobsters will be a lie. Now, Canada, on the other hand, which we hate our neighbor, will have lobsters anywhere from 19, 20, 21 pound lobsters. Um, anywhere, well, 15 to 20 pound lobsters. Now, the bigger the lobster, unfortunately, the gamier the taste. It'll, it doesn't have a sweet taste. It will, I mean, the, the claw will be as big as my head and it will not be as sweet. The smaller they are, the sweeter they are. So, but today, the goal today 
is to cook all 39 lobsters in those two pots using ocean water. So all of you that are going to be getting these from Cheryl, you're going to enjoy Maine lobster. Um, the best way to eat them after they're cooked um, is one of two ways, which is eat them cold, make a, make a lobster roll out of it, um, or make a lobster roll, eat it that way, eat it cold, or eat it cold with hot butter. So, um, but you can, I guess, flash steam it for a minute or two, but it'll overcook. So that's the downside. Again, I am sorry that she won't be able to give you guys live Maine lobsters because they will not make the trip, unfortunately. Um, if it was, if she was making a two day trip back, yes. But because it's gonna take longer than usual, then they're not gonna make it. So, but again, I'm gonna do my best to make sure that these lobsters are cooked, cool them down. I'm gonna take this cooler once I'm done with it. I'm gonna pack it full of ice to cool them down. And then they're going straight into the freezer. So the freezer here is empty. It's got the it's got the bags of ice. So once I empty out that water out of the bucket or out of the tote, they're going to go in the freezer to get to get cold. And Cheryl will make that trip all the way back to Maine, so you guys can enjoy your lobsters. All right. So and so I'll start my process. I might do a little bit of videoing in between. Bye. Hello again. So right now I've done my first batch. I'm gonna have to do it in separate batches. Uh, the freezer right now, four in here, they are two per bag. They cool down, I'm throwing them in the freezer. I've done the next, next batch. Oops. They're in the bucket, um, cooling down. So I have in here at least four, eight, 10 or 12 in here. So I have Cheryl running to go to the store and get more ice. And so I can't cook. They cook faster than I think because um, that pot system there, it cooked really good, really quick. So, and I thought I was able to use this to transport them back into, but unfortunately, well, I'm still using the, the seawater. That little, that little starfish was over there originally. Now he's over here. He moves pretty quick. So, but yeah, as I use up all this water, because you can see that the these are pretty, pretty beat up at the moment. So we're going to, um, uh, I'm just right now, I'm just kind of waiting for them to cool down right there. And um, yeah, they look delicious. So I'm gonna wait for them to cool down, put two per bag, throw them in the freezer and they're gonna be amazing. So um, I didn't cook them to the full potential, like, you know, full uh, 10 or 15 minutes, whatever it is. Um, so when you cook them, they get red. I'm taking them out. So in case that you guys do wanna um, boil them up or whatever it is, or steam them for a few minutes, they will be perfectly fine. So, and they will stay. So if, if it's a minute or two, under the cook time, it's perfectly fine. Um, so I, I don't want to overcook them. So you can have perfect lobster when you get them. So I'm going to start putting all this stuff together. And um, hopefully I'm able to get these videos up to you by the time that you get out or when, you're, when Cheryl gets into California. So you're going to be able to enjoy it at the same time or enjoy them at the same time you're watching the video of how your lobsters were cooked and handled. Bye. All right, so right now we're going to dump in some lobsters into the first, which is this one right here. It's at a roiling. So let's go ahead and grab a couple and we're gonna dump them right in. So they're gonna stay in there for roughly about 10 to 15 minutes. One, there's two, there's three, it's kind of hard to do it, you have to do it fast, there's four, all right. 
Got to do them fast. Um, that's just how it is out here. They say not to dispatch them. Do it live for some weird reason. But everybody has their own methods. So do it live. Dispatch them. I don't have time to dispatch them. So the super boiling water is going to dispatch them right away. So, but, so there you go. So I'm going to probably do a couple more and then uh, go from there. This one here is almost ready and we'll stick about five or six more in that one. So one last shot of 39 lobsters. Cool, huh? Right now, um, before the tourist season started during winter time, uh, during winter time, lobsters were going for about $11, $12 a pound here. Um, now, the tourist season started up again, and all the boats are out. Everybody's back in town, so on and so forth. All the fisheries are packed. Lobster prices dropped all the way down below $3 a pound at one point. Um, but the lobster, or the jazz festival, or no, blues festival is happening right now as we speak. So the lobster prices went up to $4.50 a pound. So unfortunately, guys, in California, you cannot enjoy a Maine lobster for that price. This one's almost ready. So, but you can still enjoy Maine lobster at market value since Cheryl's bringing it directly to you guys. So, all right, enjoy. All right, so this is the last video that I'll be doing. Um, right now, we are down to, I'll show you. We are down to nine lobsters. So that's the seaweed, bags of ice. I am going to keep the seaweed, or we're gonna keep the seaweed, so Cheryl can keep them cool, keep the, keep the ones that are in the freezer under the seaweed so everything stays nice and good. Neil, please get out. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. So, there you go. Each bag's got two. Only the lonely in that one because we are down to 39 instead of 40 lobsters. But that's your lobsters and that's what's gonna be going home with her. So they'll be frozen, slightly undercooked. So slightly undercooked, let them defrost. You can go ahead and warm them back up because they will uh, take about a minute or two to heat up, but they won't be overcooked and you'll enjoy your lobsters. So only we'll have nine to go.